In this video, we're gonna hop into the truth behind a few real estate sayings you may have heard online, you may have heard other pop people talk about, you may have heard other agents talk about, but we're gonna jump into, the first one is something I have said in the past, and as I've thought more about it, I've heard other people chat about it as well. I think there is some truth in it, but there's also some other things you need to think about. Second one is probably one of my least favorite real estate sayings that I've heard over the past few years a lot on social media. And the third one has something to do with real estate prices here in San Diego. And so if you are thinking about buying a home, be sure to stay tuned because we're gonna break these down and kind of debunk a few of these and kind of dive in a little bit more so that as you're looking to purchase a home, you'll be well informed and know exactly what's going on. So let's get into it right now. So the first saying is you live in the payment, not the price. So you as a home buyer, you're gonna live in your monthly payment. What is your mortgage? versus what is the price. Now, that saying has some truth to it, but there's also a few other things you gotta think about. Obviously, if you're buying a house here in San Diego, a big majority of that home purchase is going to be financed for the most part. And your monthly payment is gonna include your principal, your interest, your taxes, your insurance. So all that is something that you have to think about every month. And if you just think about it that way, yes, the payment is super important, but what about the price? If you're out there in a competitive market, and you are talking with your agent and they are letting you know, here's where pricing is, here's kind of where we think the offers are, here's where we think you should potentially go in at to make your offer the strongest for the sellers. And let's say that that amount is $10,000. Now as a home buyer, you're thinking, okay, that's $10,000, but in reality, that $10,000, a lot of it's gonna be financed. So in the seller's eyes, yes, it's $10,000 extra, but in your eyes, back to the payment, it is only what it's gonna increase your monthly payment by. Now at today's rate, it's about 7%, you're looking at about 70 bucks. So if you think about it that way, yes, your payment is going to be about 70 bucks more a month. Is that worth it for you? Now on the flip side of that, you paid $10,000 more for the house. So when you go to sell the house, that $10,000 is obviously gonna have to be paid back if it was financed. So price is always super important too. So what made me change my mind on this saying a little bit was somebody said, hey, you can always change your payment. Let's say you're locked in at that 7% interest rate. Over time, it goes down over the next few years, you can refinance. Now there's definitely, there's costs involved in refinancing too. But one thing you cannot change is the purchase price of your home. So while there is a little bit of nuance in here, one thing is super important, obviously your comfort level as far as what your monthly payment is, but also that purchase price. You know, it's good to think about it a few ways. How much is that 10,000, that $20,000, extra going to cost me over the long run. And at that point, does it still make sense to purchase the home? And this second saying is one of my least favorite sayings I've heard over these past few years. And I don't know, you guys are smart, so you guys probably never like fell for it or anything, but I have seen other people, mostly social media, saying, and it's kind of slowed down a little bit now, but about a year ago, marry the house, date the rate. When interest rates are a little bit higher, I've seen agents pitch it like, well, just get in the house now and then you can refinance at a later time when interest rates do go down. And it's potentially true, but if you were thinking that about two years ago when interest rates were still at the level they are now, now we've seen some fluctuation in between, but you'd be still at that 7% rate or so, give or take. Now, if you were budgeting in your head, okay, I'll get this 7% rate right now, Next year, I'm gonna finance, refinance at five and a half, and you kind of did the math in your head, thinking that you're good to go, you're gonna be comfortable at that five and a half rate, you're good for 7% for this year, but next year, you're at five and a half percent. Well, that didn't necessarily happen. Now, there were some times where it dropped closer to that 6%, but it also went up to 8%. When buying a home, it's super important to think about the current situation, your current payments, even if you are refinancing, like I mentioned earlier, there's costs involved with that as well. So it's not just like, hey, I'm gonna refinance in a year from now and it's all good and you know, just you know, get my interest rate lower. A few things happen. First off, your timeline on when you pay off your house, so that 30 year is the most common, the 30 year time resets. Also, there's closing costs, there's appraisal, it's, refinancing is a great tool for sure. If you had a higher rate and you want to bring down your monthly payment, you could run some numbers to see how much closing costs are, how long it's gonna take you to pay that back, et cetera. But it's also gonna take time. 
It's also if you've had any changes in income, like all that stuff comes into play. And so it's very important to think current situation, okay? What am I in right now? Am I comfortable with that for the duration of my current loan? Because once you start thinking like, definitely rates are gonna fall, which I've heard in the past, and they haven't, they've kind of stayed pretty steady. Will they fall in the future? I don't know, will they go up? Who knows? But am I comfortable as a buyer? Are you comfortable right now with what your monthly payment will be? Because if you married the house, meaning let's just buy the house now, we'll refinance later, you date the rate, we'll get that taken care of later. And you, like I said, you were planning on doing that this year. Well, now interest rates are actually ticking up a little bit. So there's just a lot of things you gotta think about. One of my least favorite sayings right there. And the third saying is San Diego home prices always go up. Now, is that true? Definitely not. We saw what happened back in 2008. Is it true for the long term? Yes. This recent study, I have it up right here, says want a risk-free California home purchase? says own it for guess how long 12 years now if you're thinking like a two-year time horizon there's a lot more risk but if you're thinking longer time horizons like this is going to be your home for the next decade the risk is mitigated a little bit according to this report because everything over this time this report ran like median home prices this was actually for california so san diego might be a little bit different and so this was from 1987 until today california prices fell in 30% of the 12 month periods since 1987, but also owning one year did produce an average of a 6% gaining, ranging from a 28% loss in 2008 to a 28% gain in 2024. So basically saying in a 12 month period, one third of the time, California has seen home prices fall a little bit. Now, we did see it over the past few years a little bit, peaked out a few years ago. Last year, we we're kind of moving sideways a little bit. And so right now, just compared from last year to this year, we're up about 10% here in San Diego County, the median sales price. But there has been dips in the past. Will there be dips in the future? Who knows? So when you're thinking about buying a house, one of the biggest things is how long are you gonna be there? If you're only gonna be there a few years, the risk of potentially selling at a loss goes up because let's say we are at a top. I don't think we are, but let's just say we were and you have to make a move in 2026 and the market has fallen a little bit, well, then you're at a loss. But over time, here's 2026, as it gradually goes up over that 12 year time horizon, the risk goes down quite a bit. So the time horizon that you're gonna live at your house is probably one of the biggest mitigating factors to the risk of how much is my house gonna be worth or am I gonna lose money? But also over this time, if you do have a loan on the property, every month you are paying down your principal, you're paying down your mortgage. So over that time, the balance of what you owe in the home is actually getting less too. And if there is appreciation, you are gaining that additional appreciation. And so yes, there's a lot to think about when you are buying a house here in San Diego. It's obviously a big decision. It's a big chunk of cash as well. So it's super important to get well informed. If you guys need to have a conversation, you kind of want to get the ball rolling. We are a real estate crew right here in San Diego. Feel free to reach out. All of our contact info is right below and we could help set, to, set up a plan, see what makes sense for you and really dive into your specific situation.